<clears throat> we got some great guitar lessons because on our um, on our album uh, "Get Your Wings," we had we had some uh, we had Dick Wagner and Steve Hunter did some some of the solo tracks for us because. Yeah, I, and I always wondered why. I mean, the, what they did is fantastic. It's great. But why, when you have two powerhouse guitar players in the band, did you have those guys come in and play solos? We weren't getting it. We could not get it. We couldn't, um, either one of us could, because we had these really powerful rhythm tracks, and we were just kept falling short hmm. on, the, on the solos. And... Um, mm. So Bob Ezrin, who was the executive producer, who Jack's boss, um, and he did, they did all, you know, he did Alice Cooper stuff. Sure. So Dick Wagner and Steve Hunter were deeply involved in all that stuff. Yeah. So it was like, well, let's, let's try those guys and um, bring them in. And it, they were brilliant. And I mean, it's just what they did was for, it was guitar lessons for us. Wow. Um, but one of the, I was there for, um, I wasn't in there for all of it, but I was in, I was there, Steve came, Steve Hunter came in to do, he was doing uh, Train Kept the Rolling. He, he did that entrance solo. Yeah. Um, and it was remarkable because he came in, he had a Les Paul Jr. and a champ. And that was it. Really? He set the champ amp up on top of the gobo. They mic'd it up there. It was kind of close yeah. to his ear. And uh, again, straight mm -hmm. in. And he just, he, ran, he did it a couple times. And he was like, okay, I'm, I'm loose. And then he just, and total, totally improvised. Um, but it was, I still listen to it. And it's the precision mm -hmm. And the uh, approach to the, again, perfect note, the perfect notes for the... Perfect note and perfect tone. It's amazing to hear that that was uh, just a champ straight in. You know, when you had a really good, uh, it was a, a single pickup junior, you know? Yeah. So you had, some of them had those just really powerful P90s in them. Yeah. And uh, the, the tone, it's just so unbelievable. Did he sit down and show you guys kind of what he played? Was it like when you say it was a, a guitar lesson, was it like to that extent? Or were you just kind of in the room watching him do his thing and taking notes? No, he, no. It was like he did it and he was gone. And it was just, wow. You know, I, I think I appreciate it more these days than I did when he did it. But it just, I just thought it was brilliant. It was just. And it was so up my alley. Yeah, I you know? bet. I bet. And I, I was like, wow, man, 